Alright guys, man oh man, man oh man, hold on a second, ah, should have throw a couple, throw some drops in, well, ah, we got some stuff to go over here. Here's the situation. So you've seen the last video, we were here getting loaded. And we're still here. In uh, Anderson, South Carolina. Got here at 12, one o'clock appointment. I'm gonna get loaded till six o'clock. So here's the dilemma. Uh, I don't know. We're not gonna go all the way ahead with all this right now. Well, I'm going to show you one problem. I got to get through the guard here, to get my paperwork. But first, we'll just drive up here, and I'll show you what's going on. Well, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> I tried to go out the guard shack here, and they—I uh, got to go back up to the office. I guess they. They shut the guard, shut the guard, shut the exit guard shack down. So, so I'll just take the opportunities. So now you can see all the trucks that are here. I wish I'd have known that the guard shack was shut down. Look at all these trucks here. If they had enough personnel here working, this wouldn't be an issue. All kinds of lights, man. That's a that's probably a little much. Look at all these trucks. And they keep coming in. Alright, let me see if I can snatch them up my paperwork. I'll be right back. Almost 10.30 Eastern Time. Late night driving. <laughs> Golly, that's crazy. Welcome to North Carolina. Yeah, all right. So what I was saying earlier about everything like Snowball. So obviously,
obviously right now, you know, th this load here I'm on is supposed to be delivered by 1 p.m. tomorrow. It's not going to happen. You know, even if I could drive straight through, I can't. I only have like four hours I can drive right now. I mean, if I can get like three hours, you know, I'm doing pretty good. If I can get me two hours and, you know, we can make it work. But the only problem is, you know, if I can't get, you know, Right now I got 590 miles to deliver it. And the problem is the problem I'm, I'm going to run into or I could possibly run into is I'm not going to have enough time to pick up this other load. It's 7 p.m. pickup. That's not the problem. The problem is having the time to get over there. So saying if I if I drive, you know, you know, three hours, you know, that's gonna obviously take about you know close to 200 miles, almost 200 miles. So say I'm at five, I'm at 589. So say you know, say it'll get me to 300 miles. That'll be awesome. Then I can I can go and get this thing delivered. And I'll still have time to get to the other place. And I'm not really too concerned about not being able to, to, to deliver this. Because, you know, it's going from one... You, you know what picks up in Anderson, South Carolina. You know, it's a, it's a big paper towel, toilet paper manufacturer. And they have another, another one of their places in Lock Haven. That's where it's going. Just, you know... It's almost like a transfer, just boom, boom, done. And they're both 24 hour facility, and I know they're gonna take their own product, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Yeah, it's just concerned with, because of them taking this long to get me loaded, and now I'm into the problem that if I can't get, I may not be able to get it picked up. You know, it kind of tells me that the place is a 24-hour facility because if they're a, a 7 p.m. pickup, you know, then they're probably 24 hours. And, and who's saying that they may not even let me, like, you know, come in late? You know, if I'm going to ask them, you know, I'm going to call them tomorrow and be like, hey, uh, you know, are you guys okay with me picking this thing up late? Because it's, you know of what happened and luckily they're both jb hunt loads so I, I may have that going for me <clears throat> but if they don't what's going to snowball is you know they could just take that load off me you know and that load was going all the way back to florida and i had two loads in florida getting me back out of florida so, I, you know, obviously, if I lose this load going to Florida, I'm going to have to give those two loads back. Then, you know, here we go. You know, we're going to have to start all over. And on a Friday afternoon, you know, with nothing for the weekend. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know, if it happens, it happens. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll make something happen. We'll put it together and try to repiece at all but they just yeah this stuff happens from time to time which is ugh it's annoying and the other thing I got fighting with me <coughs> fighting against me if I'm gonna be able to make it you know and for me to say that, oh, I'm good to go, I'm not tired, you know, I'd, you know, I'd be lying, you know, a little tired, but I know how far I can push myself, and, you know, once you, once you get to one point where you're like, like, 
the field like the, the least bit groggy, then boom, done. We're done, you know. I'm not even gonna fight. This load, any load, is it's not worth it, you know. But if we're feeling good, then we're gonna keep on rolling. That's just the way it is. I, mean, I wish I was able to slept some more while I was getting loaded, but you know, you don't think this is gonna happen all the time, you know? That's the way it goes. But um Yeah, we just need to push around all this, you know. Just, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I wanted to get up to Rafine because I know I can find a parking spot there. But you know, I, I'm not going to have enough time to make it there. So, right now we're just we're just cruising. And when I get to the point of I'm done, I feel like I need to stop, then we'll we'll start looking for somewhere to stop. For right now, we're going to roll on. We're about 31 miles to 71. 71 take us through a little bit of Virginia through the old fancy gap get on to 81 so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but for right now you know I'd like to get another three hours if I can get two hours, we'll get two hours. If I can only do an hour, then we'll only do an hour, you know. JB Hunt just have to get over it. But at least just want to get enough in tonight where I can at least make this delivery tomorrow. So I'm not sitting on this thing for two days, you know. Because that was the only other thing I'm talking That's the other thing. If I could have stayed where I was at, where I was getting loaded, and I could have completed my 10 hour break. But if I had completed my 10 hour break, then I'd have to. I'd have to. No. 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 Yeah, alright. Don't you like the voice thing? Um, yeah, if I would have stayed there and done my 10 hour break. There would have been no way I would have been able to deliver this thing, so. So we'll just keep on. That's the reason we had to get on down the road, you know. So we're at 582 right now, so that's. If I stop right now, man, I, that's going to be pushing to get there and deliver. So. We'll see what happens. But for right now, we're going to go on. Get on down the road here. See what we can do. We'll check up here after a while. Alright, what's up everyone? We are... I don't even know where we're at. Hold on a second. We're in Virginia. At the rest area. 81 North. And it's not going to give me a city. That's always nice. Maybe maybe Google Maps will help, help me out here. Google Maps, where am I? Oh. There we are. There we are. North Fork R Renoke? No, that's not right. Oh, there it is. Iron? Iron. Ironto? Ironto? Toronto safety rest area <laughs> man basically it's like mile marker like 129 going north on 81 man what a day so I uh we got here with about about 35 minutes on my clock man I, I must have st I stopped at a rest area two truck stops you know it's freaking 2 30 in the morning you can figure it out for yourself but actually I was 
I was doing okay, but like the last half hour, man, I was like, that's it. I was actually still trying to get to Rafine, but we didn't have enough time to make it there. We got about 71 miles until we get there. And uh, we're still going to stop there in the morning. I'll get a little bit of fuel. Just top off the tank so I don't have to get no fuel in Pennsylvania. And it's still kind of up in the air what's going to happen with my loads. So. But looks like I can't start driving until like about 12.30ish or so tomorrow. So. so I'll be on the phone tomorrow and find out. Because like that one load I'm supposed to pick up at 7. Shoot. This load I probably won't even make it to the ship to the customer until like. You know, if I drive straight through. You know, it's probably going to be like 6.30, 7 o'clock when I get there. So. You know, there ain't no way I'm going to be able to make that other place. Maybe I can just pick it up in the morning, you know, and see what happens. But uh, for right now, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Let me uh, let you know what's going on. <sighs> With all these, uh, hopefully, not snowball <coughs> effect. Gonna ruin my weekend. If not, we'll just piece it back together and we'll be good to go. But uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys next time from this packed rest area in Virginia. That's 25 degrees outside. Woo! So uh, we'll talk to you guys later.